So as this championship season is now coming towards an end, I thought it was worth looking back on the season so far and going through each championship club and finding out what they have been best at this season by picking out one stat for each club. If you're going to enjoy, make sure to leave a like, but without any further ado, let's hop into this one. Bournemouth have been the most accurate shooters throughout the season with 37.8% of their attempts on goal being on target, which is the highest percentage in the championship, obviously. There have been quite a few games in this second half of the season where Bournemouth have been absolutely clinical, where they've not tended to create all too much, but they've gone ahead and put away all of their chances. And that statistic right there about how they get most of their shots on target probably reflects how clinical they've been at times. Barnsley make the most interceptions per 90. They've averaged 11.9 per 90, which is the most in the championship. And they've also put out the youngest squad in in the championship this season. The average age of Barnsley's lineup against Preston North End from the weekend was just 22.4 years old, which was the youngest team fielded by a championship team this season. Birmingham have completed more long balls which have directly leaded to shots than any other championship club with 112 long balls directly leading to a shooting opportunity. Obviously Birmingham under, under Lee Bowyer are quite a direct side and that statistic right there goes ahead and backs it up. Also for Birmingham they've used more players than any other team this season with 35 different players used throughout the season which is absolutely loads. Blackburn Rovers have had more shots from counter attacks than any other championship club with 20 28 shots coming from counter-attacks this season, obviously. Blackburn and the way they like to play sort of soak up pressure, then hit teams on the break with that forward three, particularly Burris and Diaz, who likes to get in behind with his pace. Blackpool are leading the way for the most penalties won this season, with seven penalties won for Blackpool. They're leading the way along with Fulham and Middlesbrough. Before the weekend, Blackpool had scored all of their penalties throughout the season as well, but Gary Medine obviously missed from the spot against Derby, meaning that they've scored six of their seven penalties this season but I suppose when you have you know tricky wingers in your squad like Blackpool do with likes of you know CJ Hamilton, Keshi Anderson, Josh Bowler those types of players tend to win quite a lot of penalties and that's certainly been the case for Blackpool this season. Bristol City have been dispossessed the fewest amount of times this season just being dispossessed 274 times which I suppose is a good thing but maybe shows they're not taking enough risks to go ahead and be dispossessed that often. They've also got the best goals per shot on target ratio with a goal for every 0.13 shots on target they take which shows how clinical their forward line's been. It won't come as a massive surprise to learn that Cardiff have scored the most goals from crossing situations this season with 23 of their goals coming directly from a cross obviously. Things weren't great at the start of the season under Mick McCarthy but they still would have their moments from crosses particularly from Ryan Giles in the first half of the season you know that partnership that him and Keith and Moore managed to strike up for a little bit of the time in the first half of the season but yeah Cardiff love a cross don't they? Coventry have been the masters at leaving things late so far this season by far and away they've been the best team for stoppage time goals this season with 11 goals scored after the 90 minute mark which is absolutely crazy loads of those I'm sure will have come at the CBS arena Preston were guilty of conceding late on against Coventry and to go along with that they've also picked up more points from losing positions than any other championship side with 27 of their points this season being taken from losing positions which I suppose shows the mentality of never giving up. Derby were walking into quite a tricky situation this season but to be fair to them they've handed out nine pro debuts this season which is some going considering you know the constraints on the club how they've had to rely on youngsters coming in and picking up free transfers and things like that but this season Wayne Rooney has handed out pro debuts to nine different players and I think that to be fair a lot of their youngsters really have shone through, um, particularly in recent weeks where there has been a real emphasis on them. Fulham have the best chance conversion rate in the championship with a conversion rate of 10.4%, which does leave them as the most clinical side in the championship, which is some going considering how many chances they tend to create per 90, but Mitrovic has been an absolute goal machine this time around, and Fulham, you know, but on their way still to breaking all sorts of goal scoring records if they have a good final week against Sheffield United. Huddersfield have committed the fewest amounts of fouls in the championship this season with just 410 fouls committed by this Huddersfield squad. They've also made more clearances than any other championship side this season with 
90, which goes, I suppose, and, you know, highlights how they've improved at the back, particularly from last season when they were absolutely all over the place. But improving the system and personnel that's come into that Huddersfield back line has gone a long way for them in securing that top six spot. Hull have only lost one match this season after they've gone ahead and taken the lead. Now, you know, Hull, I'm sure, would have wanted to take the lead in more matches throughout the season, but it does go to show that they have been decent at holding on to results when they've gone ahead and scored first in the match and taken the lead, as they've only gone ahead and lost on one occasion after taking the lead, which is decent. With Luton, there have been quite a few poachers finishes for them this season. They have scored 22 goals for inside the six-yard box. Only Fulham have scored more from inside the six-yard box than Luton have so far this season. So, like a good cutback or anything like that, interplay around the box, getting it into their forwards, and someone like Adebayo is going to sweep them up all the time, isn't he? Middlesbrough are the only championship side this season to not give away a penalty, which is some going after how relentless the championship is. You know, typically you tend to get, you know, a, a lapse in concentration from a defender here or there, a dodgy penalty being given against you, you know, a handball in there or something like that. But impressively enough, Middlesbrough, the only championship side to not give away a penalty this season, which is some going. Millwall have been the best aerial side in the championship this season, a crown which I think they've held for the last like five or so seasons, probably along with Cardiff, but they've won 28.7 aerial duels per 90, which is the best in the championship. When they came to Deepdale earlier in the season, it was like, you know, playing the Land of the Giants, absolutely huge team, and you certainly wouldn't back any of them players to shirk ahead or would you? Nottingham Forest have been the most successful dribblers in the championship this season with 9.3 dribbles per 90. Their most successful dribblers throughout this season have been Jed Spence, Philip Zinkenagel and Brennan Johnson who all rank as Nottingham Forest three best dribblers so far this season. Peterborough have made more tackles than any other championship club this season with 17.4 tackles per 90. Their top tackler this season has been Oliver Norborn who has completed 98 tackles this season on the cusp of that 100 mark. Preston have scored the most direct free kicks so far this season with two and we've also had the most through balls leading to shots with 23 this season. You'd imagine a lot of them would have been coming from, you know, Daniel Johnson and Ben Whiteman especially, who like to thread forward um, those passes, and especially Emil Reese latching onto them, and that's probably where he's been most prolific this season. Latching onto those through balls coming forward from midfield, and yeah, I think that's an area where we hope to see a little bit more of next season, really. QPR have had their issues with goalkeepers and injuries throughout the season so far, but accumulatively, QPR goal goalkeepers have made more saves from inside the six yard box than any other club this season with 16 saves from inside the six yard box for QPR's goalkeepers so far this season. I suppose that is both a positive and a negative because it shows that QPR's goalkeepers throughout the season have come up with a few big clutch moments for them but it also shows that they are conceding high quality chances with those chances given away inside the six yard box. Reading are top of the fair play table for the championship this season. They've accumulated Accumulated just 66 yellow cards and only one red card throughout the season and even that wasn't a straight red card it was for two yellows so I don't know if this is a positive or a negative really do you want to be top of the fair play table or do you like your side to be a little bit nasty and have a little bit of bite to it I suppose different people will view this one in different ways really but yeah Reading top of the fair play table maybe next season they need to get a little bit more nasty Sheffield United have played more accurate long balls than any other side this season with one 1,306 accurate long balls throughout the season. You'd imagine a lot of those would have come from switching the play and things like that, you know, Wally Norwood in the middle and things like that, looking for one of the advanced fullbacks or wingbacks to go ahead and switch the play to. Certainly a staple of their play during the wilder days with how, you know, they'd overlap and have um, quick switches of play and things like that. But yeah, more accurate long balls than any other side. Stoke have completed more corners directly leading to shots than any other championship side with 62 of their corners directly leading to a goal scoring opportunity. They've also scored more goals from outside the box than any other championship team this season. Lewis Baker has been their main contributor to that statistic with four goals from outside the box this season. Some of them being absolute worldies. Uh, ben Wilmot another one who scored a ridiculous goal against my side Preston when we went to Stoke away from outside the box. It will come as no surprise to learn that Swansea have had more possession than any other championship side this season with an average of six 63.9% possession. They've also completed
completed way more passes than any other championship side this season, almost averaging 600 passes per 90, which is almost double the likes of Birmingham, who are currently at the bottom of that pile, who average just over 300 passes per 90. West Brom have actually been fairly decent at limiting their opponents to high quality chances. They've faced the fewer shots on target this season with just 112 shots on target against them, which is the best record in the championship in that regard. They've also had more shots from set piece situations from any other championship side this season with 203 attempts coming from a direct situation. But there we have it guys, those are all the statistics that I've gathered for each championship club and what each championship club has been best at so far this season. Were you surprised to learn about your statistic and what for you has your club been best at throughout this season? I want to know from you guys down below. If you'd also like to see the alternative to this video where we go over what each championship club has been worst at this season, then do leave a like on today's video and do stick around for some regular championship content. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.